Hey, thanks for coming out. This is Coach Brian with Brian Boxing. This week, I was able to spend some time at Pearlside Gym with Coach Itchy Jimmy One. Please check out the interview. Thank you so much. Morning. Six. Six. Ten sixes. Six three. Six three. Six three. Six three. Six three. Good. Jab. Jab. One two. One two three two. One two three two three. Uh huh. Been boxing here for three months. Mm hmm. See, we have to stick tournament. Stick tournament this spring. He's not hitting hard enough. Tell him. Hard enough. Tell him. I'm Osha McCoy. Uh, I've been doing boxing on and off for about a year. I like it so far. It's about it. How long you been boxing? Uh, I'd say first year. I'm Derek Karaki and I've been boxing pro side for about two and a half years. A lot of things going on in the boxing world right now. Uh, do you follow? Are you a fan of boxing? Not only, you know, a lot of people who box not are not fans. So, are you a fan of boxing? Do you follow it? So, uh, what fights are you looking forward to uh, coming up right now? Um, the, I really want the Triple G and Canelo fight to happen. <laughs> <laughs> do you think it's ever going to happen? I'm hoping so. I hope it's not a Floyd and Pacquiao. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What, what about, uh, you know, Lomachenko and uh, Nicholas Walters is uh, fighting uh, soon, uh, huh? I'm a Lomachenko fan all the way. I know, right? He's so awesome. What about, uh, uh, of course, the pound for pound king uh, tournament, I'm going to call it that, is the Ward versus Kovalev. Who do you, and that's, I think that's next week. So who you got in that fight? Ward all the way, Ward? Now, why do you like Ward? He has a big machine on all. Yeah? I think he has it all. I think he can do it. So, uh, right now, I have a YouTube page, and I'm going to put this on YouTube. Is there anything that you want to tell uh, anybody out there as far as how, where they can find you, how they can follow you? Do you have Instagram? Do you have groupies? You know, I don't know Instagram, what. Uh-huh. Um, call me. You can follow me on Instagram. Uh-huh. K-A-H-O-O-M-A-L-I-E. Uh-huh. That's my Instagram. Okay. And Facebook, me, that rocky. All right. As well. Yeah. Hey, thanks so much, man. I appreciate it. Have a good day. Yeah. Shoots, man. David May, I've been boxing for eight years. Getting ready for my first fight next Saturday. Uh -huh.
117. Like I said, I got my first fight next week. Uh, right now, I'm just focused on that. But by 2017, I'd like to I'd like to get a few more fights under my belt. Mm -hmm. I am getting older. I'm going to be 34 this month, so mm -hmm. uh, time's ticking. But, but uh, coach is getting me to where I need to be right now, and I can't thank him enough for it. It's just amazing. Who are some of your favorite? Well, who is your favorite fighter in the game right now? Right now, Lomachenko. God, I love this. I love Lomachenko. Isn't he so awesome? <laughs> His footwork. Um, I, I could watch videos of him all day long and learn so much. Yeah, yeah. He just—he's amazing. So you know, I'm gonna ask you. Uh, you know, there's a fight coming up with him and Nicholas Walters. I do. Uh, do now, who do you have in that fight? Uh, let me take him all the way. What do you see that happen? You see that by TKO stoppage, uh, early fifth round, late past the six. What? I, I think around the fifth. Uh huh. Because I don't think anybody can keep up with his tempo and his movement. Yeah. Uh, he's gonna frustrate him. That's where I see it. That's cool. So who do you, and one last thing, who do you got in the Kovalev and War fight? Basically, the tournament for who's going to be the pound for pound uh, champ in the absence of Floyd Mayweather. It, it, it's going to be close, but I but I think I think it's got to go to War. Uh, you know, he's he's got some speed. Yep. And, and uh, you know, I just watched a video this morning on him, and uh, uh, real time I couldn't see I couldn't see the punches he threw, but they slowed it down, and man. He's, he's pretty master. He's, re he's really slick. He's really slick. So, uh, where can your fans follow you in your your boxing career, or maybe they just want to get in contact with you? Uh, right here, right here at Pearlside. Uh, um, I can get you my Twitter real quick. You want that? I think. Uh, I make sure I know what it is. Yeah. So it's uh, it's just May Day. M A Y D A Y. That's it. Hey, thank you so much. Shoots. Thanks a lot. I'm Dorian, and I've been boxing for a year. I'm a boxer. <laughs> so, uh, who are some of your favorite fighters? Uh, I know a lot of people are not going to like this, but Manny Pacquiao, obviously. I'm Filipino. A lot of people so love Manny Pacquiao. Yeah, Filipinos. <laughs> yeah. yeah he's a, I mean, he's a... He's, he's, he has nice hands. He's awesome. He's not like he's not lost a step. He just lost against you know some people. So uh, yeah, yeah. as far as uh, what's your goals for 2017 in boxing? Uh, just to to learn, take away from every fight, learn mm -hmm. something from every fight. Um, obviously, it's not going to be an easy road. Boxing is a challenging sport. Mm -hmm. So uh, just keep going, keep pressing. I'm um, trying to get wins. Obviously, everybody's trying to get wins, but just to keep pushing myself, challenging myself, um, overcoming the doubts and the fears that come into my mind. Mm -hmm. um, that's basically it. So, uh, a few more questions. So, there's a Nicholas Walters and uh, Lomachenko fight. I don't know if you, if you know who those are, but I don't know. Who they are. Yeah. Who, uh, who do you have uh, in that fight? Um, I don't know anything about the Nicholas Walters. <laughs> You don't Everybody's know nobody. Him, what about the uh, and really what about the Andre Ward and uh, Kovalev fight? Uh, I don't know. I just go with Andre Ward. I okay. Know more about him than I know, I know about the other guys. Okay then. Okay then. So uh, I'm gonna put this up on YouTube. Is there any place that you want people to, if they need to find you or follow your uh, boxing career, you know, where could they find you at? Uh, you can find my Instagram. Uh huh. <laughs> um, Dory Boy Six. Mm hmm. U R I P O Y. My name is Nysir Blackwell. I'm presenting ProSide. I've been boxing for seven years. So do you follow boxing? Yes, I do. So there's some upcoming fights. Uh, what's your predictions on some of those fights? And I'm going to name them. Okay. So uh, Lomachenko and uh, Nicholas Walters. I'm going to 
gonna have to go for Walters. All right. Uh huh. Because of his power and his speed. Uh huh. Because I watched his last two fights. He won every single one. Yeah, that's and right. Amochico, his last, his last fight, he looked really good by knocking out um, Rocky. Uh huh. Right? Yeah. But he lost that one fight with that other brawler. No. Uh -huh. So I have doubts for him. Okay then. Okay then. Who's your favorite fighter in the game right now? Uh, you have to say it in the game. Um, my favorite fighter has to be Walters. Walt Nicholas Walters? So you're a yeah. big Nicholas Walters fan. Okay then. Do you, who do you try to resemble your style after? Uh, Floyd Mayweather. Really? Yes. Okay then. I like that. That's cool stuff, man. So, uh, this is going to go on uh, YouTube, and uh, is there any place that you want people to find you, or uh, if they, where they can look you up, or maybe follow you? Oh, yeah, um, at Instagram, nice here, underscore black one. Uh -huh. What's up? I'm Austin. I've been boxing with Coach H for the last 10 years. 10 years? Wow. 10 years. I guess you like it, huh? Yeah, it's been fun. Who's who's doing it for you right now in the game? Who's your who's your favorite pick? Uh, I've been following uh, Andre Ward and um, Canelo Alvarez a lot. Um, yeah, I like their style. Um, uh, Andre Ward's real, you know. He's down to the fundamentals, you know, repetition, making sure that he's got his skills down. Um, Canelo is just that power shot and that slickness that he has. You know, it, it's it's nice. Do you ever think that him and Triple G will fight? And if they do fight. Who do you got in that fight? You know, uh, I'm hoping, I'm hoping to see it happen. Hope, I, gotcha. Uh -huh. But I, I'm, I think, I think Triple G might take that. one. I saw actually. that big grin. I kind of yeah. felt, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah it's okay. <laughs> Hey, so you know Lomachenko, and uh, I don't know if you heard of him. He's a fighter named Lomachenko. Uh, he's about to fight Nicholas Walters. Are you aware of that one? I'm not. Oh, okay then. <laughs> well, uh, give me a blind prediction, just based off of I just told you right there. Who do you think? Um, I've seen a lot of reviews about Lomachenko, so I'm gonna lean on him. There you go. Yeah. All right. So also uh, the tournament for I call it the, the pound for pound tournament. Uh, Nicholas, I mean not Nicholas. Uh, Sir, uh, Kovalev versus Ward. So uh, basically, the, this fight will determine who's going to be the pound for pound champion of boxing in the absence of uh, Mayweather. Who do you got in that fight? And Ward. why? Honestly, you want, I want Ward. Ward. I want Ward. Are you picking Ward? I am. Okay, I'm picking, then. I'm picking Ward. Why I'm, do you think Ward? You know, I think, you know, like I said, you know, his repetition on what he trains in the gym, you know, it's, it's always about, you know, getting his technique down, making sure he's in the right spot at the right time. Mm -hmm. um, I think if he can out-position Roman uh, Kovalev, then it should be, should be a really good fight and might be able to take him. What's your goals for 2017 in, uh, for boxing? Um, well, I got to cut the weight first. I, I jumped up like 40 pounds in the last few years. Uh -huh. I took a leave of absence. So uh, get back down to 160, um, hit the state tournament, probably the Golden Gloves, and then uh, if, I, if, I, if I can, then hit ringside. If people want to follow you, where could they follow you at? Um, I got a I got a Facebook, uh, just like a Boston Hayden, um, and I got an Instagram. Um, it's a Hapa IT Manager. All right. Hey, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Shoots. 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 One, two, three. Fighting out of Miami, Florida. One, two, my way to Cuba. Been on island for about a, a year. Been training here pro side ever since. Sweet. Three or four, who is your favorite? Uh, well, Laura, for sure. Yeah, I like Laura him too. I think he's probably one of the, he is like in one of the most underrated, he is. Uh, not, uh, uh, was it weight classes right now? Because 154, ever since Mayweather left, it's got, it's just so stacked. You know, it's got Laura, it's got the Charlo brothers, yep. it's got a, a, a ton of, it's got uh, uh, Scarinello. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He won that fight by the way. <laughs> yes, he did. Yeah. So, uh, who, uh, so uh, uh, Laura is your favorite. So, do you try to resemble him when you fight? Um, well, back when I fought at 164, I did. Mm -hmm. You know, because growing up in Cuba, 
um, you know, we, we went to the same boxing gym, mm-hmm. you know, and, uh, when we moved here, you know, it, we just kept the same style of fighting in Miami. You know, he used to fight the gym with me in Miami, so mm-hmm. that's just how it was until, like, he branched off. I moved to Texas, but, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, um, he's, he's a great dude. You know, I, I try to watch him a lot, you know. I, I got to drop down weight because my knees don't really move anymore yeah, yeah. like they used to. Uh-huh. But, you know, so... Uh, so, the, so there are some uh, some fights coming up. The Nicholas Walters and mm-hmm. Lomachenko. Are do, are you Lomo's aware? Lomo will take it. Lomo. Yep. High Tech will take it. It's okay. Technical for him. You know, Walters is sloppy. He's flat footed. You know, like uh huh. You know, I mean, he has the power, but Loma's too slick for him. I think you know, so too. He is. Yeah, he, yeah. You know, you know, by, uh, boxing's a science, and Loma's got the angles down packed. Oh. You know, it's gonna be it's gonna be real hard. You know, for Walters, you can catch him. You know, let me ask you another question. Mm-hmm. Right? Everybody wants to see this fight. You know what I'm about to say about him? Who who uh, him and who else? With uh, oh Rigo, yeah. Who yeah. do you got in that one? Rigo, Rigo, Rigo down pat. Yeah, you know, uh, Loma's actually studied from Rigo, uh-huh. so you know he he developed his style by you know by a from a, a Cuban trainer. Yeah, so that's how you know uh, that's how he got that style down like that. So. A lot of people, a lot of uh, critics uh, want to criticize uh, Rigo, uh, and uh, I'm an advocate for Rigo because uh, he's a very defensive fighter. I like mm-hmm. that, and uh, the issue is he doesn't engage a lot right that's a, that's but true. i don't i don't see that his fault i see that as also the opponents he fights because they are scared to get in there and throw punches they like are. so it's like what do you do he's waiting on you so you you, you know so what do you feel about the the critics of rigo and and, and uh, roger mayweather said the best you know some people just don't know shit about boxing that's all oh, so, that was good that's <laughs> good you know the, you know the name of the game is like hit not get hit and that's yeah. like he's he's smashed that crap yeah so you know that, that's what that's what that is right there you know so uh uh you got loma and uh uh in the upcoming fight mm-hmm. now the i call it the pound for pound tournament mm-hmm. kingpin SOG. yeah so, you got sog i don't even SOG's have to say it huh you know, that's what you're gonna take why do you say uh uh andre ward's uh, gonna take I feel, it uh, like andre is just he's real technical you know and um, uh-huh. I, I watch his style a lot and he actually he beat you know, a Cuban fighter not too long ago. Uh huh. So you know, and just watching that. Oh, fight, that's right. You know, the uh, what was it? It was his first uh, the, the number two uh, light heavyweight yep. in. The, yep. Mm-hmm. You know, and uh, you know, a lot of people questioned uh, SOG about that fight moving up in weight. You know, he wasn't gonna be able to handle the power or move as quick as he did at 164. But uh, he did. You know, he he went out. He he showed out. He put on a show. And uh, you know, his opponent. You know, like he he got his last fight. What's it? Was it two weeks ago? Mm-hmm. Two weeks ago. He, I feel he got exposed there. Mm-hmm. You know, so uh, definitely SOG's gonna take it. He's gonna, he's gonna take. Two. A lot of people don't uh, take in consideration that uh, they know he's a uh, uh, SOG. Uh, Andre Ward is a Olympic gold medalist, mm-hmm. but they don't know that he's an Olympic gold medalist at 175 light heavyweight. So mm-hmm. it's like, and I, 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 he was talking about that. Somebody asked him about that, and he was like. He was the only. That's the only time he's ever has to. He had to drink water, eat before he weighed in. So he was able to at least make the bare minimum uh, weight uh, just to get in there and fight. So he was weighing like 170, 171, and he's fighting people like 178. You know. So uh, all right. So well, what was it? If people, your fans, want to follow you, where can they follow you at? Instagram. It's uh-huh. uh, Books Hill underscore Kuwano twelve. So that's uh, Books Hill underscore Kuwano twelve. And uh, right here on the pro side page, you know, I'm in here. I'm following on my journey to get yeah. back down to one, one seventy five. You know, so uh, hopefully I'll be able to do that within the next upcoming months. What's your goal for 2017? I know. Uh, 2017, I already told Coach uh, I'm taking the heavyweight, the light heavyweight division in Hawaii. Oh so, wow! Uh, yeah, I, you know, I was gone this year due to training for the military, uh-huh. but I'm back now, and uh, Coach is getting 100 percent for me. So look out, 2017 Hawaii light heavyweight champ. All right. I'm looking at him right now. Appreciate. Oh, that's what's up. Anything you want to tell the the people in that weight class right now? <laughs> you know, uh, I'm coming for you. That's right, what's I'm up. coming for you. That's what's and, good. You know, these, they, they don't just hurt, man. They, they knock out. <laughs> right right. Hey, thank you so much, man. Appreciate it, man. Shoots. Oh. Um, so I'm Megan, or Megatron, what they call me here. Over here at Pro Side Boxing, Saturday practice. Um, I didn't make it because I just got off work, but mm-hmm. I'm here to support. <laughs> so uh, I've been asking a lot of fighters, uh, what does Coach Ichi uh, coach, uh, teach you in the ring that you can use on in life, right? So, what are some of those things that uh, Coach has taught you in the ring that you you can apply to day to day life? Um, it's a lot of things actually, from being humble to being uh, to sportsmanship, always being there uh, for your teammates or whoever, not putting anybody down. So always just work hard, work mm-hmm. hard in here, um, carry on outside, uh, just 
respect everybody in here, respect everybody out there. Um, always help other people. Mm -hmm. And he, he does a lot of, he helps a lot of people all the time. Too. Yeah, he does. Um, so I appreciate everything he does for me. Uh, you know, in life sometimes you take some hits. Uh, and you, you just got to keep moving forward. Yep. Uh, it's not, you know, it's not about how hard you get hit. You just got to keep moving forward. And, uh, and that's been a lot of the stories in my life, too. So, um, the coach always, you know, stay positive. You know, even through the negative, stay positive. Uh, there's always something to learn. You know, they're about, like, getting knocked down and getting back up. Um, you know, it's, it's really applicable to life. You know, uh, when I was a senior in high school, I lost my dad. Uh, it caused me to stop training for a little while. But, you know, the coach was there. And, you know, he kind of taught me that, you know, it's something that will knock you down temporarily. But, you know, it'll you gotta pick yourself back up and just keep going. Yeah. You can't let it stop your life. I have friends here that both play you. And mm -hmm. the coach, Coach Ichi is like the greatest coach. Thing, well, there's three things. Resiliency, which is a big one. You know, he teaches like, uh, you fall down, you get back up, you know, uh, never stay down. Mm -hmm. You know, you get back up, you keep fighting through. Um, respect, respect's a big one, you know. Always respect everybody. Mm -hmm. You know, like I said, like coming in here, I didn't have the best temperament, mm -hmm. but I got humbled real quick, mm -hmm. you know, and, uh, uh, so, resiliency, respect, and just uh, the camaraderie here, you know, everything's like a family. For the admiration or just saying, hey, I beat, m my, my gym is better than yours, but you, there's a lot of people that you're doing it just to, to help them out. What makes you do that, Coach? Um, I think from the, from the beginning, from the get-go, it's always been, um, you know, I love the sport of boxing so much that... I wanted to um, share that with a lot of people mm -hmm. and get them to uh, understand that you can do something like boxing and use the sport to get fit, use the sport to learn some of the, <laughs> some of the uh, things in life that uh, you need to, uh, need, that, can, that can help you, you know, like, uh, um, if, if, you, if you're working out in, in boxing, if you're an athlete, then you gotta take care of your body. So you're gonna stay away from drugs, you're gonna stay away from um, you know, overeating, you're gonna stay away from drugs, you're gonna stay away from bad influences, smoking, cigarettes, you know, things like that. So it's like connecting people to that, that concept, right? Do something like boxing and it can help you get away from all the bad influences in life. No. Nobody. Are you nice on purpose? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Are you nice on purpose? Are you are you giving back to the community on purpose? I'm not the nice guy. My wife is the <laughs> nice guy. I'm the mean guy. You know? I'm the guy that yells at the kids. I'm scolding the kids. You mm -hmm. know, when they don't uh, do something right, I'm the one that's in their face telling them to do it harder, do it better, and you know, I, I'm the one that raising my voice at them, and then when sometimes they get smart with me and they, they uh, talk back, and I'm, you know, raising my voice back at them and telling them, hey, you talk like that to your parents, and sometimes they do. <laughs> that's the amazing thing about it, but you know, I tell them, I'm not your parent, I'm not your friend, I'm your coach, so listen, understand? And you know, it's like, I don't take no for an answer, Mm -hmm. And the funny thing about all of that is that they like it. They come back, mm -hmm. you know, and they're smiling the next time instead of being afraid of me. Mm -hmm. they, they like that. So I think something that I'm doing is, is right. I think it's respect. And I know, think that's what yeah. it is. Coach, what is your goals for 2017 for ProSide? For 2017, um, take another team up to uh, ringside again. Mm -hmm. uh, my goal always is to uh, develop a national champion. Mm -hmm. you know, I'd love to develop somebody from scratch. You know, somebody that's never boxed before, just just wanting to learn how to box, and then take him from the ground level all the way to the top and win the national title. Like your coach did. Yeah. Coach H. G. Jumoa, this is my gym. Yeah. 
So uh, back for uh, behind the scenes exclusive. I was told that maybe there was one more thing that you wanted to. Yeah, actually, Coach has a a very big fear of vampires. So, like how big of a fear? Like, like oh, uh, that's a vampire. I don't watch that movie. Can, or like, you, no, he will not watch any movies with vampires. If you, <laughs> not if even you sneak Twilight. up behind him, not even Twilight. If you sneak up behind him in the dark, even in the daylight, and pretend to bite his neck, he'll freak out. Really? He, he, I can. Well, maybe I wouldn't show you. You might punch me. But. <laughs> <laughs> I have a video. He's here. He's here. 